Today we are pitting two titans from the same family against each other. That being the Bishop Wand Shader versus the Bishop Wand Packer slash Stainless Steel OG. Which one should you buy? Well, hopefully by the end of this video, you will know. Let's go. Now, as always, before we start this video, Bishop have not sponsored this video. I own both of these machines. I bought these two machines, these two Titans with my own hard earned cash. Everything in this video is completely 100% my opinion. And Bishop have not seen this video nor approved this video before it has gone out. If they see this video, they are seeing it at the exact same time that you guys are. So firstly, let's compare the price. The shader and the packer both come in at around £827. Now, if you want the Power One version of these machines, then that's going to set you back about hundred grand. So you know. However, the stainless steel OG packer does come in cheaper than both and it is the same as the packer, just weighs a little bit more and that comes in at 600 and that comes in at 640 pounds. Now all these machines are extremely light, even the OG stainless steel. It is heavier but it is still light. The shader and the wand come in at 142 grams. Now the OG stainless steel, that comes in at 161 grams or 5.7 ounces. The strokes on both machines are fixed. The shader being a 3.5 fixed stroke and the packer and the OG stainless steel packer both being 4.2. And finally, both machines come with Foul Haber, Foul Haber, Foul Haber motors. Anyway, it comes with those motors. The shader comes with a brushed motor and the packer comes with a brushless motor. Now, if you don't know what the differences are between brush and brushless motors, then maybe I could, you know, do a video on that. Let me know in the comments if you do actually want it. On each of these motors, they come with a custom winding. The shader has a custom winding to give a softer hit and the packer comes with a custom winding to give a harder, more torquey hit. The shader does have built-in give, if I'm not mistaken, but the packer is completely direct drive. Bishop's recommended voltages for the shader is between 8 volts and 10 volts and for the packer it's between 6 volts and 8 volts and to be honest that is quite accurate. I run my shader at 8.7 and I run my packer at 7.5. Now depending on which one you choose to buy when you get your machines both of them come in a little nifty case. I love that Bishop do this. It feels expensive and you know as it should these machines are not cheap so if you was to get a you know a machine of this caliber and of this price and it came in with no case or just a little shoddy case you'd be pretty pretty disappointed. So I love that Bishop actually do this. Now if you are absolutely loaded and you have the hundred grand to fork out then you can get the power one and it comes in a little like briefcase type thing with the critical like power supplies but we're not talking about that now although these machines look the same i can tell you there is a substantial difference between the two i have owned the shader since its release it was the machine that i saw artists using and could not wait to get. So I ended up getting that machine on release. And since then, it has been my daily driver. It lines, it packs, it does color, and obviously it does the buttery smooth shading. Now the packer, good God. So if I was to compare these two machines to a movie, the shader would be the machine that you sit on the sofa with 
you watch a rom-com, you eat your popcorn, and it's just nice and chill. It's slow, it's easy, and at the end of the night, you may get a nice little ball tickle. And then you've got the packer, which is like watching Crank. It's just balls to the wall. It's no holds barred, peg the shit out of you. All while it is calling you some pretty vulgar names. The difference in machine is just astronomical. The packer is talky and it's just way more aggressive with that 4.2 millimeter stroke. And then because it is the packer stainless steel, you add the extra weight to that and you have effortless lining. And of course, packing black. Now, obviously because of that 4.2 millimeter stroke, shading with this machine does require adjustment because you better believe that if you are using the packer, it is putting pigment in that skin like there is no tomorrow. And then you've got the shader, which is the complete opposite to the packer. You are using high volts to do lines, but you are using lower volts to get that buttery smooth shading which gives you so much buildup time on skin. And if needed, it packs black absolutely fine. Now I would say it doesn't do it quite as well as what the, the packer does, but make no mistakes, the shader will do it. Now there is something that I do not like about the stainless steel OG packer. The grip, it's got like this textured coating on it and it just feels horrible and to be honest i don't know why bishop have done this the smooth coating on my shader is vastly superior and in my opinion it just wasn't needed that is the only thing that i don't like about the stainless steel packer so which is the better machine and which one should you buy well obviously i cannot tell you which one to buy because i just don't know the type of artist you are but for me the better machine is the packer. It lines great, it packs in, and with the slight adjustment, it shades absolutely beautiful. It's great for color, it's great for getting those color blends, and it's great for packing color in also. The shader, although it can do all the things that the packer can do, just it just isn't as good at it. It is a way more specialized machine than what the packer is, that being obviously black and gray. Now, ideally, if you do have the money to spend and the money to spare, I would own both these machines. I'm, I'm quite lucky I do own both the machines. So I can swap in and out depending on what I'm doing. The shader I would use for really soft skin tones. The packer I might use for everything else. So I, I am quite lucky. And if you can afford both these machines, I would definitely get both. Now, Bishop do do a liner also, but I don't think that the liner is needed. The packer lines absolutely fine. But I hope this information has gone towards whether you should buy the shader or the packer. And if you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Do not forget to like this video and also turn on the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. But guys, I will see you all in the next one. Oh, if you want any added extra benefits, Patreon link is in the description. But make sure you use it. Make sure you use the Patreon. If you're gonna sign up to Patreon, use it and abuse it. See you later.